So here he is, the king of all vipers, the black-headed Bushmaster. And this guy is a monster. Warning, all venomous snake handling in this video is performed by a professional. Please don't try anything you're about to see at home. Hey YouTube, how's it going? Venom Man 20 here tonight. Tonight we're going to be unboxing the biggest viper in the world. This is the oldest and the largest viper I've ever worked with. This is the infamous black-headed Bushmaster. These guys are known to be extremely toxic. There was one Costa Rican study that said four out of five people bitten regardless of medical treatment pass away. Another statistic says 69% of people bitten die. So with that being said, the remainder of this video, I'm gonna be doing a voiceover so I can have full focus on this snake while I'm working him because this guy is a very, very large Bushmaster. But I do want to say that although the title does say unboxing, I'm not actually unboxing him tonight. We're going to give him a soak. You'll see that soon enough. But he is new to the channel. I've never published a video of this guy. So with that being said, that's how I justify using the term unboxing. Anyway, let's stop with the rambling. Let's get into moving this big black-headed Bushmaster. Let me start off by stating one thing that I had forgot to mention earlier in some of my last Bushmaster video is these are actually temporary cages. As you can see, I had three Bushmasters and said these are boreal cages. I had ordered Bushmaster cages or cages that I was going to use for the Bushmasters, but they only had a limited number. So I got what they had and the other ones have not shipped yet, so I'm waiting for them. Uh, but these cages actually work out relatively decent because if you know anything about black-headed Bushmasters, they actually live inside the Agouti burrows down in Costa Rica. So they, they like tight, cramped up, uh, humid areas. I'm not saying that they don't come out at night or come out when it rains real hard and go check out areas looking for food. It's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying for the most part they like tight spaces. It makes them feel more comfortable because these are a snake that's always on edge. They're almost like a black mamba. They're very nervous animals. So they like feeling secure. But uh, this is the biggest black-headed Bushmaster I've ever worked with. This is an older animal. This is a large male. He has a little bit of stuck shed here. I'm going to try to get it off while I soak him. But if you notice the water, you're probably looking at it and being like, blue water, that looks weird. That's actually chlorhexidine, uh, which is used for like uh, any sort of like fungal infection. Since this is an older Bushmaster, he actually has a little bit of an issue in his uh, scales because I was spraying him to make sure that he shed decent, last shed, which he didn't shed decent anyway. And uh, he has just a little bit of a scale issue, which can actually be uh, very hard on Bushmasters. They're very susceptible to this. They have to be kept spotless. They cannot have any poop in the cage. They cannot have any uh, moisture for say. They can't be sitting on any moist substrate. That's not okay. So uh, this guy, we're going to have to give him a soak in this. He's actually going to have to soak for about 30 minutes. But I actually measured him out. He is a little bit over seven foot. He might not look like it, but you got to figure I'm six foot two, uh, 240 pounds. So I'm a relatively decent sized guy. So you put the snake next to your average sized person. He's a pretty large viper to say the least. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave this guy alone for about 30 minutes. I'll check back with you in a second. Now, one thing I do want to mention is this chlorhexidine does have to be diluted. Uh, so if you was to ever use this for your snake for scale rod or something like that, leave a comment in the comments. I can explain to you the appropriate way to do that because you can buy this over the counter. Uh, it, it would be better to seek, you know, the, the expertise of a vet. But needless to say, there's very few people in the world that know Bushmasters uh, as decent as Dean Reba. And, uh, you know, his literature states the appropriate ways to take care of them. Needless to say, and I'm very familiar with that. But as you can see, he is just a monster. He is an older snake, so I'm, I'm worried that, you know, he might pass away in the upcoming years. And that's going to be very sad. But as it goes, everything that lives dies, unfortunately. But we're going to try to keep this guy as long as humanly possible. But he is a big guy. As you can see, I keep holding them up to the camera. It might look a little stupid, but I'm trying to make sure that I get a decent thumbnail for the video because I don't want to have to take him back out. It's, it's not beneficial for me to take him back out just for a thumbnail for a video. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to stress him out. He's an older snake. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to handle one any more than I need to. They're already a little on edge. 
So here I'm just peeling off a little bit of shed. This is a little dangerous, but I can read these snakes very well. You can actually feel when they start getting stressed, he will actually tense up his body almost like a board. And if they do this, they will become so rigid, it's almost impossible to hook him, and then they will start to flail. As you can see here, he comes back on me. He's like, okay, that's enough. You touch me one more time, it, your night is over. <laughs> but it wouldn't just be the night. It would be a, be a horrible end. But uh, these guys are actually a little sensitive on the tail. If you noticed while I was tailing him, I was actually tailing him pretty high up on the body. That's just to try to keep him happy. But anyway, hope you enjoyed these Bushmasters. There will be more to come here soon. Really glad I made it through that video. Glad you guys did too. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Not only that, don't forget to bite that like button. It really helps me out. Anyway, check back soon for new content. And this channel is always about learning. So if you have any reptile questions, go ahead and leave them down there in the comments. Anyway, have a good night.